Hello everyone and today I wanted to tell you facts about planets as how long they take to spin and for the exoplanets how long they take to orbit their star. Also I'm going to talk to you about Yes, you guessed it. How long planets take to orbit their star. So we'll start with Mercury and end with Ceres. Because I forgot Ceres in the first place, then I'll put it in. So, we'll start. Mercury takes 88 days to orbit the sun. And Mercury takes 59 days to do a full spin. Wow. That's 59 days of Earth. Wow. Venus takes 225 days to orbit the Sun. And Venus takes 243 Earth days to orbit the Sun. Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun, as we all know. And 24 hours is a full day for Earth. And now we moved on to Mars. Mars takes 687 days to orbit the sun and Mars takes 24.6 hours to spin. And now we move on to Ceres. Ceres takes 1,682 days to orbit the sun and Ceres takes 9 hours to spin. Wow! Now we're moving on to Jupiter. Jupiter takes 12 years to orbit the sun and Jupiter takes 10 hours to spin. And next is Saturn. Saturn takes 10.7 hours to spin and Saturn takes 29 years to orbit the sun. Wow! Now we've moved on to Uranus. Uranus takes 82 years to orbit the sun and Uranus takes 17 hours to spin. If you don't think 82 years is big, then what about Neptune? Neptune takes 167 years to orbit the sun and Neptune takes 16 hours to spin. And now we moved on to the dwarf planet Pluto. Pluto takes 6.4 days to spin and Pluto takes 248 years to orbit. Wow, that is a really long period of time. And now we move on to Haumea. Haumea takes 284 years to orbit the sun and Haumea takes well four hours to spin wow did you feel that was awesome yeah i thought it's very funny for a planet so far from the sun mm. and now this is make makes orbit and spin so make make takes 22 and a half hour spin make make takes 306 years to orbit the sun now it's gone higher than 284 wow we are getting higher and higher and now we moved on to eris eris takes 558 years to orbit the sun and eris takes 25.9 hours to spin now we moved on to some, you know, exoplanets. Now, starting with Coral 7b, takes 20 hours to orbit the sun. It's sun. And its sun's name is 7b. That's why it is called Coral 7b. Okay? Now, Kepler 10b. Well, this is quite surprising. Same orbit as Coral 7b, 20 hours, and Coral 7b is the same, wow! And now Coral 7c, wow, that is a, you know, a hard one to remember because b and c 
they might trick you. Coral and Coral and Seven Seven might trick you too. So you might say Coral Seven B for Coral Seven C. Wow. Coral Seven C, which is a quite similar to Coral Seven B, takes eighty nine hours to orbit its host star called Seven C. Now, Glass One. Two hundred and fourteen B takes thirty-eight hours to orbit its host star. Now moving on to Tres Two B, it takes fifty-nine hours to orbit. Kepler seventy-eight B takes nine hours to orbit. Wow. Glass four hundred and thirty-six B takes sixty-three hours to orbit its host star called. Four hundred and thirty-six B. Now we moved on to Cancri. It takes eighteen hours to orbit. Now we moved on to HD two zero nine four five eight B. You might pronounce it like that, but I pronounce it like that. It takes eighty-five hours to orbit its host star. Now you will be shocked by Australia B. Australia B takes. Twenty-five hours to orbit. Wow! Now we've moved on to some other exoplanets, but most of these will have wasp at the beginning of them. So we're starting with one beginning with wasp at the front of them. Now this planet's name is Wasp Nineteen B. Wasp Nineteen B. Well, you guessed it. Takes nineteen hours to orbit. That's kind of similar to its name. Its name is Wasp Nineteen B and takes nineteen hours to orbit. Wow. Now we've got another one which I might pronounce wrong, or you pronounce it different, but it doesn't matter. I pronounce it like that. Its name is HD one eight nine seven three three B, and it takes fifty three hours to orbit. Wasp seventeen B takes ninety hours to orbit. Wasp eighteen B takes twenty three hours to orbit, and the Hat B eleven B takes one hundred and seventeen hours to orbit. That's the longest hour one we've came. In these exoplanets, because I know Ceres hour was long, wasn't it? Before I end this video, I just wanted to say that astronomers, also known as scientists, keep on finding new and new exoplanets, planets, and dwarfed planets and asteroids, and they keep finding these space objects. So. Every time I figure out information about space, I try to tell it to you, because I have a great interest in space. I have a great interest in stars, asteroids, meteors, planets, dwarf planets, exoplanets, whatever it is about space. I love things about. Space, even if it's moons. So sometime in these days, I will,、uh, you know, make a solar system video. But not every day. Some day I won't, but most of the days I will. And most, and some other days I might make, you know, some other kind of video. And if you wanna. See one of my planet videos first. Just hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And please subscribe and like my channel and share it. Anyway, this was the end of today's video. See you in the next video, and bye bye for now.